Welcome to ProTech Advanced Welding Solutions. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do a review of the front control panel of our ProTech 215 MP machine. So we're going to do a close up, come right in nice and close on this front control panel. Okay, now we've come in nice and close. I'll power the unit up. Uh, we're plugged into 120 volt input. So you'll see the uh, snappy graphics come on the front there. The system will power up. So this is our main LCD screen. And we have these other knobs here which control different things depending on what welding process we're in. This primary one, the large one at the bottom, is the main controller. So that's what drives the system here. So on this first selection here that's lit up, it's got MIG SYN. So that's MIG Synergic. That's like an auto MIG uh, selection that makes it really, really easy for selecting optimum parameters because it's a smart machine. You tell it what wire, what gas, what material, and it'll give you an optimum set of welding parameters. Next one is MIG Manual. So if we just want to use totally MIG Manual operation, we can do that. Next one is TIG. Next one is Stick. Last one is Help. Of course, uh, we've got a help selection there that will take us to websites and, and, uh, and uh, numbers, contact numbers for technical support and help. Let's go back to MIG SYN, MIG Synergic. I push the button. First thing it says is, what are we welding? In this case, we've got steel, stainless steel, aluminium. We're also talking uh, flux cord wire self-shielded or flux cord wire gas shielded. I'm going to select steel, then it'll tell me the setup. It'll tell me where the torch is connected, but more importantly, where the return lead is connected. So in this case, it's connected, the return lead's connected to the negative terminal, which is the one on the, the uh, right side at the front of the machine. Connect that. Then it tells me what gas. Do I want mixed gas or do I want CO2? Mixed gas being argon CO2 mix, uh, typically 7525 on a machine like this. I select that. We then go to material uh, wire thickness. So O23, O30, O35 or O40. These are different wire diameters for solid wire. I'm going to select O30. 2T, which is just trigger, pull the trigger, Weld, let go of the trigger to stop. Select that. And now it'll say what material thickness. What's pretty cool here is this will limit the machine in thickness to a maximum of one quarter. Why is that? That's because we're plugged into 120 volts. So the output's only going to be 140, 145 amps out. Uh, so it's limiting my material thickness. If I was connected to 230 volt, on this ProTech 215 machine, I'd go right up to uh, 3 eighths or even half inches of maximum, depending on the wire uh, I've selected there. So we'll turn that back to, uh, let's say, uh, 1 eighth material. I select that and voila, we've got now our summary here of what we've selected. Up in this top corner, I've got wire feed speed in inches per minute. I've got voltage here, digital read of voltage and I've got my inductance. So these three knobs now can change these parameters. But see how I've got a red line and then a white part on that red bar there? That's putting me right in the sweet spot here, here and here with an optimum setting based on what I've told this machine of what wire, what gas, what material thickness I'm welding. That's giving me an optimum set of parameters to start welding right now straight out of the gate.